what's up guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be unboxing my new edc if you've been paying attention to the channel and you watched the last video you know that i'm going to be swapping this guy out to a competition style pistol i'm going to be doing a lot more competition shooting so what do i have in the box i'm not going to make you wait for it let's figure it out let's get right into it a psa come on now you know i had to go with a psa the reason why i went with the psa is because God forbid anything happens, they have to take your firearm, they can take this. It's not expensive. From what I see online, it's very reliable. And I mean, for the price, you can't beat it, dude. So let's get into it. Let's check this bad boy out. It's my first time seeing it. So I'm seeing it as you see it. You ready? Ah, ooh, snap. I like that. I ain't even taking it out yet, but I like that. What is this? Okay, so I got the RMR version, right? I'm going to put a dot on it, a cheap dot, but they give you a plate for it. Okay. Oh, this is metal, bro. Oh, this ain't cheap. This ain't that plastic. Yo, hold up. My um, my Smith & Weston came with a plastic one. Nah, that's what's up. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's see what else is in here real quick before we take this pistol out. I know we want to get to it, but let's just see what else is in here real quick. We got the good old, what looks to be, yeah, the lock. Okay, okay, it's pretty standard. That's gonna come in every box. That's the only thing I think, though, right? Yeah, that's the only thing I think. Let me just take that out. Nothing in there. Magazine, baby. What does that say? Okay, P mags. 15 round P mag. Okay. All right, let's get into it. I like that texture on there. I don't know about that, but I like that texture. See, so if you don't know, the, the PSA Dagger is a Glock clone, okay? If you don't know, now you know. It's a Glock clone. I want to say it's the clone of the 19 Gen 5, but for you Glock boys that have your Glocks tricked out and you carry it every single day in an in a oh shit situation, it's they're gonna take that shit from you. I mean, I could be wrong. Where I'm from here in Vegas, they're taking that, right? So this right here is an alternative to someone who enjoys shooting a Glock, but they don't want to fucking get their shit taken, God forbid, situation, right? This is what you want. Ooh buddy! Yo, 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 hold on, hold on. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Threaded barrel, suppressor height sights. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's get into this. Let's get into this. Oh, let's get rid of this. Here, let me hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put this in here. Sheesh. Ah, oh, yeah, that's. That's going to need some work. That's going to need some work. We got to put some rounds through that. I like that a lot. It's kind of like my... Those are, yeah, 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 yeah. So this isn't too far off from what I'm already running. It's very familiar. I've run Glocks before. I've had a 19 Gen 5, 17 Gen 5. They, I mean, I'm sorry, that was a Gen 3. But regardless, it's very familiar. It's very familiar. Look at this. Ooh, that feels good. I like that a lot. Hey, man, if you ain't got one, go get one. I can't wait to shoot this bad boy. This is going to be a lot of fun. Now I just got to get a holster for it. That's the only issue. I'm not. I'm not going to continue to. I'm not going to start carrying this until until I've put the. Uh, trigger and the apex in this one because i gotta drop it off right i gotta drop it off to my gunsmith they gotta lead it they're most likely gonna keep it for the day i don't want to drop this off and then not have anything on me so that was the whole point of getting another edc before i did that so that way i can drop this bad boy off and then kind of go about my business with this one however what i'm thinking let me just clear this while we're talking okay Clear. Let's just give it that magazine in total. Um, I trust this, right? I know this is going to go. This one, I have not shot it yet. Obviously, I just opened it with you guys, right? So 
I really don't want to drop this off and then just kind of leave with this without knowing what it does. So I think I'm going to go to the range, put maybe about 100 to 200 rounds through it. Um, I'm going to mag dump as much as I can there, as much as they will let me, just to make sure that this mag works. Um, eventually, I'll probably swap it out with a regular Glock magazine, throw a Terran Tactical or a Floyd's or something like that on there. Um, man, this is nice. But yeah, I want to run some rounds through it first before I trust it. I want to make sure that it's going to run. I'm going to keep it with the, the iron size for, for quite a bit. Um, and then I will eventually throw a cheap dot on this. I'm looking to keep it under 200, realistically. I don't want something super crazy, super expensive, like a Hollison or something like that. I want something that's going to keep a zero or hold a zero um, after, you know, however many shots I throw through 100, 200, 300, whatever. It ain't got to be the nicest one. It ain't got to be super big name brand, but I wanted to at least hold a zero. And like I said, I want to keep it under 200 bucks. Um, you can't, you can't shoot what you can't see. So I'll probably put a light on this, something like this TLR, this TLR 7A. Um, shit, let me see if it fits right now. Let's screw this real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. Sorry, excuse me. I'm just going to take a second here to take this off. Okay. Let's pop it on here. Okay, so hold up. The light's going off. This is not going to fit. Should fit. Bro, what the hell? You know how to put a light on, right? Okay, hold up. There we go. There you go, Mr. Smarty Pants. We don't need to tighten it on too tight. Just get it on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like that. I like that. It sits out just a little bit from the actual slide itself, but it doesn't protrude out further than the barrel. I like that a lot. I'm definitely gonna have to pick another one up. Shit, or even just swap it if I need to. But like I said, I gotta get a holster for this thing, man. Um I like running the We the People, I like Bravo Concealment, I like Hilliker Holster, I like a lot of these these companies out there, but I'm not sure if they carry a holster for this. I'm sure they do. I just got to do some research on it. So that will be that will be in the next video. I'm going to do some research on um, some holsters and see what I like best. Probably go with the people. I like with the people a lot too because they're, they're from Vegas. You know what I mean? You gotta you gotta support. If you're from Vegas and you ain't got a with the people, you gotta support. Let's see if this fits. Yo. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is for my MMP, bro. I mean, this doesn't have a light on it, so it's not going to fit now, but that's my MMP. Bro, what? Nah. It completely covers the trigger guard. Bro, no way. No way that fits. I could start rocking that today. I just got to go shoot it now. That's nuts. Okay, well, hey, boom. You know, that right there is a plus. That right there is a big plus. Do I have another holster around here somewhere? Let me see if I got another holster. What do I got in here? Let me just see if this one fits. This is my outside the waistband holster from Bravo Concealment. Love this holster. Very comfortable. I like that holster a lot. We got to take this off, though. So that's nuts. That fits. That's crazy. Hold up. Let me take this off real quick because that is not a light bearing holster. And this is something that I would normally wear. Like if I got a flannel, if I got like a flannel or a longer shirt, something like that. I normally wear something, uh, something like this here outside the waistband. Put that right there. Let's see. Shut up, bro. Look, I'm going to show you too. Look. MMP. 
MMP. That is not a dagger or a Glock holster. Bro, what? No way. Okay, PSA. That is awesome. That is really, really, really cool. Man, that's that's going to cut out the headache of finding a holster. <laughs> it already has. And I'm even more excited about this pistol. I'm even more excited about this pistol. Look at the... Uh, look at that work, man. It ain't no cheap. Not like... A, it doesn't even feel cheap, for one. It doesn't feel cheap. But besides the price of it, it's got like... It's fucking pretty, dude. Damn, that's pretty. I think I spent right around two ninety nine for this, and it came quick. Like I ordered it on a Friday, I think, and I got it on a Saturday, the following Saturday. Hold up, hold up, because now you got me interested. So it fits both of those holsters. That's a Light bearing and a non-light bearing. What else do I got down here? Got anything else? What is that? Oh, here we go. Try my Pegasus. This is my Pegasus by DeSantis. I think it's DeSantis. No, that one don't fit. That one don't fit. That one's tight, tight. And it don't go all the way. No, I don't like that. Oh, that's why. Because look, it's hidden. Okay. Well, that one don't fit. That bitch is tight. Is there another one down here? Okay, here's my... Uh, let's see, which one is this? Sorry, excuse the camera. <clears throat> this is my Bravo Concealment with my sidecar. Love this holster. This fits my MMP without a light. Um... Obviously, you got your extra magazine. It fits, but oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. We can't have that. We can't have that. We just going to say no to that one from the jump. <laughs> what else we got? Let me see. What is this? This used to be one of my favorite holsters right here. The Helico holster. This was from my Glock, 9, uh, Glock 19 Gen 5. Yeah, this was, this was my jam pots and pans. If this fit, I'm gonna be real. Hold up, I'm gonna be real. If this one fits in here, I'm gonna be really excited. Let's see. What? That's it for me. I'm buying more of these. I'm buying more of these. Look at that. Oh, whoa now. Whoa now, cowboy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bro, that's beautiful. Yeah, I'm 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 getting more of these. If you haven't got yourself a PSA dagger, get one. Look at this. I mean, I've just been happy happy as hell since I opened it. I mean, you guys saw it. It fits in what one? Three different holsters. You saw how it looked with the light on it. It comes with a plate that's whatever the hell this shit is. <laughs> Metal plate. It ain't a plastic. That's all I know. Um, and a threaded barrel, bro. And the trigger. Let's take this magazine out. Nothing's in the firearm. Clear. Gotta take up. Walls here. Not bad. Pretty crispy though, like sounding at least. Not bad. No complaints. No complaints. Very happy. Very, very happy. Palmetto State. Y'all did that. You did that. Now we got to go to the range and put about a thousand rounds through it. To make sure it's reliable and it runs. Look at this, bro. This is exciting. Look at how beautiful that looks. Man. 
Palmetto State, PSA Dagger, get one.